Hello guys, welcome to Insta Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at a charger made by a company called Passport. Now this is a brand that is available in the UAE and this particular charger is associated with a rechargeable flashlight. So uh, I don't have the flashlight with me at the moment but I shall put a picture of that in the screen right now. So let's take a look at the description. It says 220-240 uh, volts so it's a uh, area specific it's not universal and the output voltage is DC 3 volts at 250 milliamps so it's a tiny it's not a powerful uh, little charger but it can be understood because the battery inside those flashlights are most often those uh, nickel cadmium based cells not the regular uh, AA batteries uh, but a different kind of battery I don't have the torch at the moment so I cannot show you that and this one has a special feature because it has a charge uh, LED, the charge status in LED underneath this logo right here. So uh, the last time we took a look at another charger that is made by a company called uh, TouchMate. Yeah, it's also a brand that is available only in the UAE. So that company, the, in that charger we saw how the charging indicator uh, detects whether the uh, whether the charging is completed or not and let's see if the mechanism is same inside this one so this has two colors uh, it has a red and green and if you plug this in right now this one is not working so I will make a video about uh, servicing this thing but in another video uh, usually when you plug this in the green LED lights up that indicates uh, there is no, nothing connected to it so once you connect your flashlight to this charger it will turn red and the red LED continues uh, to glow until the charging is full the battery is full once the battery is full the red light will turn off and the green LED will turn on so it's obviously detecting the current flow uh, through some resistors maybe to uh, detect whether a load is attached or, or if the charging is actually done or something so let's take a look at what's inside and how the charge state indicator works and they tried to make this a universal power supply because the way this is attached is like that if you push this button right here and this right here is a model number you push right there and this has a spring contact see it says spring contact right there so that attached to these two terminals and you can easily swap between the different plug types now let's uh, open this thing up I'm expecting some springs to be flying out because this has some springs here right here so those are the two screws that is out and you can already see the SMPS board okay so uh, those are the spring contacts right there so it is attached like this is is a metallic tab that has uh, that has the spring inside so yeah that's that let's keep that safe right there because I'm going to repair it and this right here is the circuit board and that's the other side of it let me adjust the camera a little bit more yeah so uh, I'm not seeing any burn marks or anything obvious on my first look so I, I expect this to be uh, I expect this to make this thing work back again so circuit is really simple there is not a lot of uh, main through hole components these two are the contacts that spring is uh, connecting to and it goes through this bridge rectifier and immediately followed by this capacitors which are HY branded and 4.7 400 microfarad and then it goes straight to the uh, transformer primary and look at the anti-tracking slot the, it has the anti-tracking slots on between this terminal this AC mains terminal and also on the primary and secondary it has a very nice separation also so it's, uh, it's really nice in that sense and it's also interesting to note that there is no 
uh, bypass capacitors connected across the primary and secondary side. So the only thing that is connected across is the uh, optocoupler and the transformer. There is no uh, capacitor connected in between. So there is no leakage to be, they are expecting nothing to leak across the other both sides. And once the AC is rectified and smooth use this uh, this uh, capacitor it is connect straight to this transformer primary and obviously these two thin points right here has to be the uh, auxiliary the feedback winding for the uh, uh, IC to operate because you can see the track thickness of the track is a lot different between those so that obviously has to be the power supply for this chip see the difference see and this has to be a diode that is in series with this uh, capacitor right here uh, so that has to be the uh, as a one kV rated capacitor that connected across the primary to uh, act as a prime uh, the transient suppression uh, device so uh, and this right here is the all in one chip it's a thx 208 that is the one chip that does everything to thx 208 and this diode has to be the power supply has to be the rectifier power supply for this chip and yes that is because it has the disconnected to this capacitor also and this uh, high value is a 155 so it's a 155 which makes two of them in series makes a 3 mega ohms one point it's 3 mega ohms so that has to be the initial uh, power supply for this chip and that makes the primary side complete and let's move on to the secondary side where the interesting thing happened there is another chip right here and it says I don't know whether you can see that or not but it says LM358 you can see that LM358 right there so it's a pretty common comparator I see so now we can actually say how the uh, voltage detection how the LED is showing the state of charge because if you take a look at down below right here you can see two very low value resistors that's a 0.5 ohms and this is a 2.2 ohms resistor right there that has to be the current sense resistor so once the device is activated and the load is connected the load being the uh, flashlight itself there has to be a current flow through it depending on the uh, amount of charge that is left on the battery that creates a voltage drop across this resistor and the voltage drop gets detected by the op amp the comparator and that indicates the uh, state of color of the led because if there is no voltage drop across it that means the charging is complete because once the charging is complete there is no more current that is being flown and when there is no more current flow there is no voltage drop and that can actually be detected by this and the green led should light up so that's how the uh, inverting and non-inverting config uh, terminals has been configured here that might have that's how it might have been configured so when there is a current flow there has to be a voltage drop across this and that can actually be detected based on which terminal uh, has the highest potential the inverting and non-inverting and when it detects a current flow uh, the output will change the polarity and that makes the other LED lights up inside this one and this has to be the main a rectifier diode that is connected to this power output and this right here has to be the power supply for this op amp chip and if you notice something you can see there is an option for a USB uh, port right here and it even says USB right there but it only but it says uh, it is only uh, 3 volts output so that can actually be justified because the way the, these kind of SMPS circuits uh, limit the output voltage is by measuring the amount of voltage drop across these resistors. And you can also see another interesting little chip. It says 431 right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but it says 431 right here. See that? 431. So 431 is a very popular adjustable voltage reference. So once the voltage drop across these resistors, one of these has to be serving that purpose. Of voltage level sensing so when the voltage across one of these detect a certain threshold which is the equivalent of 3 volts uh, it will then trigger the 
this uh, voltage reference act is actually an adjustable center diode kind of thing and the center diode this this uh, chip is connected straight across the optocoupler so that triggers the coupler and which in turn turns off the primary side thereby the output voltage drops uh, below 3 volts or it will settle at 3 volts so that's how the voltage is limited to 3 volts so if you want to convert this thing for a 5 volt uh, power supply thereby justifying the need for USB pin you may need to change some resistor value so that the voltage level uh, across the resistor will be the equivalent of 5 volts and you have to change the resistor value so that the output voltage the primary will be turned off when the output voltage is at 5 volts so uh, yeah that's that's a pretty little uh, interesting circuit because the way this uh, chip works and everything it's really uh, really a simple circuit but it's a clever use of technology you can actually you know it's a really good comparing this to the other one that we already opened the one the touch made one it uses a very different uh, mode of sensing and uh, it, d it didn't have this chip but it uses a another passive components for that you can watch that video by uh, clicking by checking for the power supply playlist on my channel and overall I will say this is a pretty neat power supply because the only thing that is not uh, visible at the moment is how good the insulation between the layers is but I am expecting this to be pretty good because in the UAE you need uh, you have to pass a certain criteria for the products to be sold yeah I know but uh, there are still odd products available but uh, for majority of the products the government has imposed certain rules and regulations but and the 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 uh, manufacturers the sellers are actually following that so I'm expecting this to be really good power supply it has all the nice anti tracking slots and everything this has to be the inverse limiting resistor it's a pretty low value resistor it's one ohms I believe so uh, yeah that's it that's pretty much how this thing works it has a date code on it 24-2-2016 it's a second it's a first version so yeah that's how a passport charger works and how it detects the voltage level so in my in one of my previous uh, next videos you can expect me having some play around with this thing so yeah anyways thanks for watching see you in another video